expert Sudoku strategy, XY chain, explained. Here are some of the technical terms needed to facilitate the explanation. House, a row, a column, or a block. By value cells, a cell that contains exactly two candidates. True, if a cell or a candidate is true, the candidate is the solution to the cell. False, if a cell or a candidate is false, the candidate is not the solution to the cell. Strong link, two entities are linked, in ways that they cannot be both false. For example, two candidates in a by value cell, are strongly linked. Weak link, two entities are linked in ways, that they cannot be both true. For example, if a candidate appears three, or more times in a house, any two of them are weakly linked. An XY chain consists of by value cells of any candidates. Two adjacent cells of the chain share a common candidate so as the cells can be linked. Actually, the chain is formed by connecting candidates alternatingly with strong links between the candidates within the cells and weak links between the candidates across the cells. However, strong links may take the place of weak links across the cells. Furthermore, the starting candidate and the ending candidate must be the same, referred to as target candidate. The rule of elimination is that any cell that sees both ends of the chain at the same time cannot contain the target candidate. The reason is that the ends of the chain are strongly linked. They cannot be both false at the same time. The workings of XY chains will be explained in the following example. This example is a chain of six by value cells. Dashed lines indicate links between cells of the chain. Strong links between the candidates within the cells are not explicitly indicated. The chain starts from the seven in the cell marked A and ends at the seven in the cell marked B. The seven is the target candidate. Two cells, colored pink, cannot contain seven because they see both ends of the chain. Starting from cell A, we circle the candidate 7 in red, to mean if it's false, then we circle 1 in blue, to mean then it's true. In the second cell, 1 is false, and 5 is true. In the third cell, 5 is false, and 8 is true. In the fourth, 8 is false, and 5 is true. In the fifth, 5 is false, and 6 is true. In the sixth cell, the last cell of the chain, 6 is false and 7 is true. Notice the premise, 7 is false in cell A, resulted in, 7 is true in cell B. We can also start from cell B, with the premise, the 7 is false and derive at, the 7 is true in cell A, by going through the chain backward. Thus, we conclude that the ends of the chain are strongly linked. In other words, one of the ends must be 7. Consequently, the pink cells can't contain 7, because they see both ends, at the same time. After elimination of the kinetic 7 in the pink cells, a naked single 6 appears. From here on, more singles will appear when singles are placed, all the way to the final solution. This is the final solution. Thanks for watching.